Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Guys, my voice is a little bit messed up, I do apologize, but I just bought the new AirPods and I'm like, you know what, I have to go and compare them to the AirPods 2s. And I've already did a quick comparison between these, but I figured I might as well do a full one. I don't know if this is gonna be a long video, I might ramble or not, you guys already know, but, but starting off with even the price tags, you can still pick up AirPods 2s, but the AirPods Pros are the newest ones, and these cost $249 with the AirPods 2s without the wireless charging case are $159, but with the wireless charging case is $199. So depending on the model, they're either $100 or $200 difference. Between these these ones I have here and these ones, these are actually $200. These are only $50 difference, but is that $50 difference you know, worth it? Well, in my opinion, dude, from the size, at least starting off there, I think they're definitely, you know, there's definitely some pros for both. I do think that this design is really weird. I don't really know what they were thinking. This one is more practical and practical than I just dropped them. But they both feel almost the same. The AirPods Pros have a problem, at least my specific unit does, and I'll talk about that in a second. But in terms of design, it's really, you know, to each their own. If you put it like this, they're almost kind of the same. This one is still a little bit smaller, but it's really not that big of a deal. In the pockets, they're both going to feel almost the same, so I guess that's kind of good. Both have the wireless charging feature feature and that little dot right there and obviously lightning port on the bottom. Do these things fall out of my hands so easily? Nothing on the back and they're pretty much almost identically the same. Now looking at the actual headphones themselves, as you can see, hopefully these ones aren't dirty. Now they're pretty clean. Popping these both out, you can see automatically pretty big design change. You can see that we have, you know, the little like tip top on the <laughs> AirPods Pros. Where we have the regular standard thing and you can see the size difference as well. I mean, these are definitely smaller. The AirPods Pros are smaller, but I do kind of like the older ones to be honest. Looking on the back, you can see how they look a little bit different right there. And the uh, AirPods Pros actually have a res force resistive button right here. So right now they're off, so I can't even press them in. But these ones don't have, and they have that like double, double, double tap to feature if you're into that. But I really like this little force touch button on the side because it brings some functionality, which, you know, technically the AirPods 2s do not have. But I do like a lot of things about the AirPods 2s as well. Now, one really cool thing about the AirPods 2s, man, I keep dropping these, is that technically speaking, the AirPods 2s have better battery life than the AirPods Pros, which is kind of weird. They should have put a bigger battery or something in, in these cases. I don't really know what they were thinking but you have about a five hour battery life on the AirPods 2s where you have a four and a half hour battery life on the AirPods Pros. But here's the thing, the AirPods Pros have some features where the battery life could actually be even worse than that, but it totally depends if you have those features on or not. So one of the coolest features of the AirPods Pros is that they do have noise reduction and noise cancellation. So you won't hear all that like noise going on in the background, which is super nice. I've had my Powerbeats and my Beats. I, I don't know if my Powerbeats had it, but my Beats had it. And those are really nice, it's a super cool feature. The AirPods Pros are also sweat and water resistance where the AirPods 2s are not that. So again, you know, to each their own. I still think these are pretty decent. They, you know, I've worked out in them. I've, you know, I don't think I've ever dropped them on water, but I've never been scared to, you know, mess around with them around near bodies of water or anything. But the coolest feature of the AirPods Pros that the AirPods 2s do not have is that you're able to actually hear around you and surroundings while you have these on. So when you actually have these on, it's really hard to hear things around you, to be honest. So when you enable transparency mode, you can hear, you know, with the microphones built into here, you can hear things that are around you. So I had them on the other day while I was making that unboxing video and I was able to hear myself talking while I was listening to songs and it was really trippy, but it was super cool. And I can see how so many people would use this if you're at the library, if you're at Starbucks, if you're in walking around in, you know, some city, you'll be able to hear yourself around your surroundings without having to like go and like take off your headphones every time. And that's actually really, really cool. And it saves you from taking out your headphones and then readjusting them back in. You can just triple click or double click. You can just long press and enable transparency mode, which is really cool. It's kind of like open back headphones in a way. It's a really cool feature and I'd really, really recommend you guys to, you know, if you were into it, I would super, that's one of the best features about these in my opinion. Now the bad thing about the AirPods Pro is that the AirPods 2s did not have, you know, any problem with really in, in a way is the earwax build up, guys. I'm sorry, someone had to say it, but everyone has earwax, it's just a part of living. And technically speaking, I feel like AirPods Pros are gonna be horrible at that because these come like straight up in your ear hole. It just injects itself in there and all your earwax is gonna get built up around here. With the AirPods 2s, it wasn't really like that. It would just get stuck, it would like get crusty in here, but on the outside, it was pretty much okay. So I don't know, it's kind of like to each their own. As long as you keep your ears dirty, it'll be fine. But you can always replace these for like $4. The box actually comes with a few, which is nice, but you can replace these pretty easily. So it's really, it's not that big of a deal in my opinion, but I feel like they could have done better, but you know, whatever. Now, ultimately, what I'll tell you was, I like the fit of AirPods 2s. I definitely do think they feel better, but the AirPods Pros, you know, a lot of people like these headphones as well. I'll go ahead and listen to some songs real quick. Let's see if I can, this is the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another one of these so I can actually listen to some songs. And I'm gonna listen to my mixtape, all right? 
but I have to do it on two separate iPhones because I don't think my iPhone supports multi-user. So. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go and play a song. Okay, so right off the gate, I do have transparency mode enabled on the AirPods Pros, but here's the thing. Sound-wise, maybe there is a little bit of a difference. Like maybe the bass is a little bit better on the AirPods Pros, but I, you know, I don't really notice that big of a difference in terms of the sound. Like I can hear myself more even from my AirPods 2s than I can on my AirPods Pros, but I'm going to go ahead and turn transparency mode off. Okay, so the transparency mode is now off. Yeah, so with the AirPods 2s, I can definitely hear myself way more than my AirPods Pros, and that's a good, very, very good thing. You wanna hear your songs and everything. Sound-wise, like I said, I mean, yeah, I think the AirPods Pros have more bass into them. They're both set at the same volume. Like I said, I, I don't really notice that big of a difference in my opinion in terms of the sound, but I think in terms of the overall quality, it definitely does seem better quality on the AirPods Pros because of that better bass, but also because it's a tighter fit and I don't really hear too much of my surroundings. So that's really, really nice. And believe it or not, I already got my AirPods Pros actually crusty a little bit. I mean, this is how I break this down, okay? If you have the AirPods 2s, don't even upgrade. I don't think it's really worth it. I would wait until these go down in the, you know, on eBay. I've seen these go down super cheap on eBay sometimes. Not, not these ones, but the AirPods 2s. There's always like random sales. But the AirPods Pros, if you have neither of these and you're okay with these type of headphones, dude, this, the AirPods Pros are killer, man, in my opinion. They're super nice. But I think the AirPods 2s are still okay. You know, they're very, very good headphones are not going anywhere. They were just released this year. I think AirPods 3s are going to come out probably next year, but ultimately you can't really go wrong with either of these, but that's kind of what the main differences are. And if you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.